Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have a Chevy Cruze, guys, and you have problems with your brake light switch, or let's say your cruise control doesn't work, brake lights do not work, and you're trying to figure out if the brake light switch is good or bad, stay with us, we'll explain what we do to actually test the brake light switch, guys. Stay with us, guys. So we will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, different engines, and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop, because our mission, guys, here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys you will find the information helpful and it will lead you in the right way to fix your car. So let me show you now what we will be doing guys, what scanner we will be using, all the parts and tools or if you need to buy a new brake light switch, all that. We will have the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. The scanner that we are using here guys, it's amazing. Why? Because simply guys that scanner, okay that scanner, you can guys use it pretty much on any car, not just Chevy Cruze. And this is almost like a dealer level equipment, you can read and delete codes from every computer in the car guys, so practically it's amazing. And I'll show you why. Now I'm going to go ahead, connect it here, okay, and I'll show you what we'll be doing now. So let me show you now guys. Okay, I'm going inside now. We're going to go ahead turn the ignition on without starting the car. Perfect. And this is the computer, the scanner. Now let me just wipe the screen because it's been extremely dirty here at the shop guys. I'm going to go ahead, turn it on. It takes just a couple of seconds, okay, to power up and I'll explain what we'll be doing now. This computer guys, okay, now I need to charge my battery a little bit. So I charge the computer some guys and let me show you now with that scanner what we'll be using. Okay, battery used, the battery is getting low, okay. So we click diagnostics guys and now check out all the cars and make that that thing supports. It's simply amazing guys, okay. It's so many, so many guys. So what I do, uh, you can do manual selection or, or automatic. I'll just do manual quick. It's General Motors because it's Chevy vehicle. Well, we can just click VIN number, it's going to decode everything on its own. But I want to show you the long route in case you will need to figure it out. 2015 model with ours, passenger car. Chevy Cruze guys right here and we have the 1.8 engine this one right here now it's loading it may ask you a few more questions like what radio you have and all that stuff and if you don't know guys we have a video that explains how to figure out everything about your car which models which model it is what radio what the, what parts you have guys how to check all that so we click diagnostics we click control unit and now we're going to select guys you have a few now right here chassis control module module engine it could be under a few actually okay right here and you have the body control module so let's see chassis first live data it's initializing now it may ask if we have automatic or manual transmission sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't and you can see you have a few different parameters but this is just for the fuel so it's not here let me go actually to engine control module it might be there guys we'll click live data or it's under body control module it's, it's amazing guys this computer has so many okay so many cool features that it's uh, simply amazing so now right here you have the transmission you can see uh, you can see the fuel trim oxygen sensor cruise control so so many things guys but what i usually click you can find it under cruise control and i actually found it guys it's under body control module because the brake light switch is installed on the body so that's where you will find it on chevy cruise click live data and under live data select chassis control right here and that way you will get more chassis functions and one of them that we get it says brake pedal applied inactive okay because i'm not pressing the brake pedal now check out what's going to happen guys okay when i actually press uh, okay press the brake pedal from inactive it's going to go to active depress inactive press active so you can see how it changes so that tells us guys that the brake pedal has been applied so as you can see brake brake light switch is working now it says initial travel position achieved pulled up from released position so you can see the different parameters here guys uh, brake pedal position sensor worm okay you can actually realign it and all that stuff we have a video on the channel how to do that but uh, you can see the sensor is worn so it's ready to go but 
pretty much guys that's how you know okay if your brake pedal is working or if it's not and this is the position that you can check out okay precisely to see how many okay uh, voltage uh, what, what voltage you get it depends on how pressed the brake pedal is the more I press the higher the voltage okay check it out that's what it does now okay now it's depressed I'm going to slightly press more press all the way so it's a complicated pedal now it's it's not just on and off switch guys and this is the pedal position negative one percent 21 25 and it tells how many percent the brake uh, has been applied so Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.